welcome back to my YouTube experience. First of all, thank you for checking out the first chapter. I was very, very happily surprised at seeing so many of you liked it, which of course is a good inspiration to go on. My plan is now to have a new chapter out every Monday for as long as I find it interesting. And uh, I think this will go on till the end of the year at least, we'll see. Nobody knows what's happening. Anyway, I said at the end of the last episode, today I will talk about this guitar. This is my number one Strat. It's a 2007 Fender Custom Shop NAM Special, whatever that means. I think they made a certain amount for that came out during the NAM shows in America. Uh, Lake Placid Blue and uh, Rosewood Fingerboard. I don't know what it's uh, 63 or 62, what the biggest differences are, but this just guitar just, when I saw it and I bought it, I knew that this was going to be one of my favorite guitars. And I have a list of players who said, if you ever sell, please call me. Sorry guys, I won't call you. Um, the story about how I got this guitar is uh, the rehearsal room where I am right now is situated in the middle of Helsinki. It's in the cellar and uh, in 2007 when I walked out the door upstairs to my right, the first little shop there was actually a sushi bar. The next one was uh, one of the best record stores in Finland or in Helsinki called Fennica Records. Sadly not there anymore as not the sushi bar either, both are gone. And uh, opposite of the street, on the street, was a music store called DLX Music, which now has moved to another location. But it was cool to come out, go for sushi, go and serve some CDs, and then go, oh, I'll go and check if they have something new at DLX, which was a, or is a very big music store. And uh, one day I walked out, and they had two custom shop relic strats in the window that they just got in. One was a Dakota Red, and the other one was this this one and I just knew that's gonna be my guitar and I uh, I went in said I want to try that took it out my normal test for trying out guitars is first acoustically and uh, if the sustain is good the wood vibrates my my favorite test is to take the and then feel around the neck and the body if the wood vibrates, then the guitar most probably is a very good acoustic instrument. The rest is then pretty much history. You can put whatever pickups you like. And as you know, I use Klopman pickups. This set is a kind of modified Thomas Blug first set that he made, Klopman made for him. It has a, the difference in the set is that it has a Klopman Tilcaster bridge pickup, which is a a slightly stronger strat pickup with a, a base plate underneath so it has more mids and a little bit more punch than a regular bridge pickup on a strat. I wired it so that the tone is always to the bridge pickup that's on all my strats because I like to roll off a little bit of high ends from here when needed because if I get the neck pickup to sound good then sometimes the bridge pickup is a little bit too bright uh, this guitar also has a dummy coil, which is activated by pushing the lower stone. You can see it comes up and it activates another pickup coil, which is underneath the pick guard here, that works together with the bridge and the neck pickup. What it does is that it cuts out quite a lot of the 60 cycle hum that, you know, the strat pickers have when you play loud and with a little bit more gain. It also cuts the highest highs off and punches the mids a little bit, which is great for soloing. Uh, it has a treble bleed, so I don't lose any treble when I turn down the volume to six or seven. That then has turned out to be a good thing for me. I didn't really touch the volume of the guitar until maybe three, four years ago when I started to realize that, hey, you get more sounds by trying out different things. Um, the song in the beginning of this uh, video you heard is something from my new album, True Colors, which looks like this. And uh, you can order it by sending an email to this address here. It's available on vinyl and on CD. 
and on a download card, uh, like you get the CD booklet and a download card. Uh, just email me if you're interested. All support is welcome and it's a good album. The song is called Late Night in Hamburg, written very late night, or actually I should have called it early morning in Hamburg because I think it was around four or five in the morning in the hotel room that I put this together on my laptop. And I used this guitar <clears throat> on, on, the, uh, on the album version. The guitar track that you hear there is actually my demo track that I made. So whenever I tried to play it again better, I couldn't get close to the feel I had, that euphoria in the morning so early. So what you hear on the album is the original demo guitar, the drums and the, and the bass and the keyboards are, are added later. Um, today I thought I won't play any high gain sounds, uh, I'll just demo a little bit about the guitar. I, I have a lot of songs which have more cleaner strat tones and uh, one lick that I, I'm asked about quite often is the lick from uh, My Soul to You, the song. <laughs> very big Floydy kind of stuff that I like with, to play with a Strat and recently I've noticed that when I play live I've started to use the middle pickup which I never used that much before and that is just to get it to cut through a little bit better the neck pickup is warmer but it notice it doesn't have the same kind of attention maybe for this theme <laughs> pickup is too bright and too too strong and here you can really hear the difference in the mid-range because this is a little bit stronger pickup and uh, the in-between sounds I don't really use that much and nice but not what I use that much live. Uh, going back to the song um, Late Night in Hamburg, I, uh, as on many of the instrumentals that I have, and as you just saw, I didn't play with the guitar pick, I've used my fingers quite a lot. And uh, in an instrumental song when you have this actually, Late Night in Hamburg is eight minutes something on the album. When you have the themes, you have to vary them how you play. Sometimes I play with a pick, sometimes I play with the finger, sometimes I add a tremolo bar, I switch pickups. Everything to give it different colors, true colors if you like. Uh, and just as a demo I'd like to, to show you that when I play with my fingers I get a softer but in another way also a nicer attack. <laughs> pick it gets a little bit at least to start the song with it gets a little bit too much in the face in my opinion so I try to play with my fingers to get this kind of a texture coming out and sometimes I just put the, uh, the pick in I don't even notice it can be Mistake? I made a mistake. Jesus Christ, let's do it again. I used to play this theme, I don't know, quite
quite a few times in the song. Also where you pick. <laughs> textures I, I use my fingers and my guitar pick to make it different more interesting for myself because I don't really plan how I play I just play a little bit more about the guitar um, I mentioned in the last chapter that I take my guitars to Kitara Kellari in Kaunianen Gran Kulla and uh, there's Timmy Beckman and Petteri Hirmanen who work on my strats so far they've, they've, they've modified three of my guitars and I'm sure I will take more of them there. The, one of the main things they do is they insert stainless steel kind of rods into the neck where the screws, neck screws go in and with that they can make the neck joints super tight, much tighter than with the no normal if you go into the wood and that really adds a lot of sustain just even acoustically. The neighbors, yeah. Already acoustically, when I got the guitar back, I could feel, hey, something has changed. And that was the first thing. Petteri Hirvanen is the master of adjusting tremolo, so he, he changed the tremolo. I think this is a Goto vintage tremolo. It still has my titanium bridge parts, which I use on quite a few guitars, because I used to break a lot of strings, but they stopped the string breakage. My good friend Marco Carvo says that they add a little ping to the high end. That's quite possible. He must be right, because he knows. I haven't noticed anything. I just noticed that I don't break so much strings anymore. Uh, it's set up with three springs, and when I pull up on the tremolo, the G string goes to A. <laughs> set it up. The action is, I would say that it's medium height. I, I don't like low action. High action is nice when you play slower stuff, but obviously if you have high action you can't play, I can't play really fast, not that I can't play that fast anymore. But medium high action, uh, it's been refretted by Alex Fink in Hamburg. Guitar Crazy is his company, great guitars. I have one of his strats which I will demo in the future. Um, what else is there to say? Uh, you know, why this is my favorite Strat? I don't know. It's it just kind of it sits. It's the neck is smaller than on my other guitars, but it just sits right. And uh, I think one thing is to the acoustic sound in it. I, I play it a lot in my hotel room, so I usually always take it to the hotel room. And I've written so many songs on this guitar. Um, this guitar might not be that special to somebody else, but to me it is really, it is the greatest strat for me. Um, I'm going to give you a couple more examples of uh, easier playing. I'm going to play a song that I recorded for my Another Day album. It's a thing, a short tribute to Jeff Beck, who is one of my big heroes. It's a piece called Endless. Here we go. <laughs>
thanks for watching again uh, next episode number three we will feature my Les Paul my beloved Les Paul and uh, we'll try to figure this one out <laughs>